Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be talking about that light right there. That sconce. Did you know that it can be made with a few things that you pick up from the Dollar Tree and Walmart? It is so fun and it's a perfect gift. We actually have a gift exchange coming up at my work and the limit is $10 and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make one of these as my $10 gift item. Now, who wouldn't love this for under $10? I'm telling you, it has push lights that will light up and it goes perfect with any glammed up decor. So if you want to see how to make this, let's have some fun. I'm obsessed with these lights. I have them in my bedroom. I have them in my living room on either side of my television. I have them in my guest room, in halls. I, I just can't get enough of these. So I'm gonna show you. There's a lot of different ways that you can tweak it and make it just a little bit different here or there. But I'm gonna show you the basic way to make these wonderful push light sconces that are perfect for any kind of glammed, glammed up decor. Over the weekend, I was walking through Home Depot and I was looking at some of their lights and I just love that crystally look to it and I cannot believe the price that it costs. And that's what's so fun about being able to make. The first thing you need is this napkin holder that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I always make these in too. Now I have used some of these acrylic gems in the past, also from the Dollar Tree and these mini glass containers. But I will say those acrylic gems sometimes are a bit hard to find. So I have another solution for that. But you also will need the ad adhesive glue and two push lights per light. I picked up a few here and there, wherever I see them on sale. Sometimes you can get them cheaper than even the Dollar Tree. And then two plastic round mirrors. Again, Dollar Tree. First thing you're going to do is take the mirror apart from the out, outer plastic because we need to reinforce this. And plus, I like to paint the plastic rim. So the first thing is they, these have a cardboard backing and that needs reinforced. I tried making these without reinforcing it and after it was all done, sometime in the night, it fell off the wall. <laughs> so you definitely do not want to skip this trick, this tip. So you get some of that glue and you do want to be in a ventilated area because it does have a smell to it. Use an entire tube for two uh, sconces and you're just going to rub it all over and that is going to reinforce it so that it'll be nice and strong. And you do need to let this completely dry overnight. I took some rope also that I got from the Dollar Tree and use that for my hangers. A lot of the little hangers that come with these mirrors, they're just not strong enough to hold the weight. Once we put these um, other parts onto the front of the mirror, it just won't hold up. And again, you don't want this thing falling off in, you know, two hours after you make it. So you want to reinforce it with some sort of super glue, E6000. Definitely need a strong glue. Hot glue will not be enough. I took a piece of plastic trash <laughs> to hold the, the rope from getting stuck into the glue until it was dry. Now these mini glass containers are the perfect thing to make crystals and then I pick up the adhesive gemstones from the Walmart store and it doesn't take a lot of these so one package can make quite a few of our sconces and then we need our adhesive glue. Now we're going to glue these all along the outer edge with our napkin holder. But you need to start off inside a, a full glass jar length because the very back end of this napkin holder is going to be glued down into the mirror. So you don't want to glue your glass jars too close to the end. And you just add a little dab of hot glue. Now, the hot glue is just going to hold it in place until we can reinforce it with a super glue that then needs overnight to dry. And so this is the way that you can 
glue something nice and solid. Now you might say, I can see a little bit of that hot glue, that's not gonna look good. Well, we're gonna trim that out. You will not see that hot glue when we're done. Now, this is one of my favorite things. It's called multi-purpose cement that I get from the Dollar Tree. The thing I like about this, you can actually use that, that thick super glue too, or E6000, but the thing that I like about this cement glue is it is it goes on very easily. You don't have the strings, and it is very strong. So you just put it all along, and it will dry clear, so you can see right through it. This needs overnight. So a couple of things in this particular craft, they need overnight. So you get your mirror part all glued down and set it aside to dry. You get this much done, all glued down, set it aside to dry. The next day, now it doesn't take very much time. You just need time to let it dry. Okay, so the next day we're going to use some sort of adhesive wrap. I like the diamond wrap. I actually picked up some table runners that have like these beads, any kind of wrap. We just need something along the very top edge and the very bottom edge to glam it up, number one, and number two, it'll help hold it into place. Now, for the gems, we can either use those little diamond gems that you get from the Dollar Tree on the top or the gems that we get from Walmart. Now, these diamond gems work for the top, but not the bottom because they're shaped wrong. But I will say, those gems that you get from the Dollar Tree, they really, really like hot glue and it just really holds them in place nicely. And so once you get that done, hello from the other side. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna put some of the uh, gems that we got from Walmart on the bottom. Now, obviously the bottom part of the glue, uh, bottom part when you glue it on, it doesn't have anywhere to put the diamond shaped gems in. That's why you need these kinds. So really you could use these on both top and bottom. I just happen to have some of those other kind that I could use. And then you do want to make sure that you glue them. They come with self adhesive stickers, but it's not strong enough to really hold it in place. So hot glue is enough though for this part of it. So we're going to hot glue around the jars and then we're going to also hot glue around the mirror. I spray painted my mirror frames white. They don't have to be perfect because you're putting gems on them. And you can do, sometimes you can do two at a time and just add a little dollop of glue right in the middle and then attach those to the mirror. As you can see, this really is a fast project and it is something that you can make. Each one would be under $10 by the time you buy your things. So they're about $20 for two. I cannot believe how much I love these. My granddaughters love them. What's not to love? It looks great right above a dresser in a little girl's room. I mean, really, there's a lot of things that you can do with these glammed up gems. And then here, here's my backing. Once it's completely dry and sturdy, doesn't look real fancy, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna be hanging on a wall. You won't even see that side. <laughs> So this is what it looks like from that angle. Now we're gonna need to glue our napkin holder, but you do wanna glue on some of those gem strips all the way wrapped around those jars because that's what's gonna hold those jars in place. They are glued to the napkin holder too, but reinforcing them with the string of gems, as I said before, hides the glue but also reinforces them so they will be secure. I made these over a year ago and they have had no problem. There's been nothing that has fallen apart from it. You can dust them, you can clean them. They really just hold their place. And all I have to do is every once in a while change the batteries out of my push lights. And the moral of that story is don't forget to turn them off at night instead of <laughs> leaving them on all night but these are you just slide those little push lights and the push lights come with little velcro pieces that you just kind of velcro those two together so they'll hold in place and then you can just easily pop them out or back in if you need to change the batteries and then just push them to make the lights come on and I even use the dollar store batteries for these and you can use the directional lights these I picked up from Walmart 
it is fantastic. And I can't believe how much these gems will put off different types, types of prism light off onto the wall. And it really does look fun and inviting once it's up and going. So this is definitely one of my favorite under $10 items. If you like it, please let me know. And the other thing I would love to know from you is where are you from? Where in the world are you as you're watching this video? Comment below and let me know. I just love to find out where the viewers are and it just gives me so much joy to know that you're watching my videos and I appreciate it so much. So if you'd like to subscribe or share this out, I would so appreciate it. Yeah, this needs to be your gift exchange gift this year <laughs> or any time of year. Like I absolutely love having lights and I actually put them up all over my house. I have them in my living room, have it in here, have it in my bedroom in hallways, anywhere. They all look great. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. Statistically speaking, something like 80% of you that are watching this video right now have not subscribed. It doesn't cost anything. Sure does help me out. So like, subscribe, share it out, and I'll see you soon.